Oh my goodness, I have a bag to unbox. I can't wait to unbox this bag with you guys. It's so amazing. I'm in love, love at first sight. It is a bag that I asked for. So I'll let you guess down below. Is it a Birkin? Is it a Kelly or neither? Anyways, I promise I will spill all the tea, all the juicy little details when it is time to do so. I will just let you know that my Hermes journey is a little complicated. That's all I'm gonna say. So yes, I went ahead and uh, went to my store bought this bag and of course a few more things. I will only unbox the bag in this video as well as some jewelry. Quick thank you to Ideal for sponsoring this part of the video. I think you guys will love it. I, ooh, I did not know it came with a pouch and all that. Okay, this is an experience. Let's, let's just all open it together. Ideal is a diamond jewelry company from Belgium. They do lab-grown diamonds, which are way more sustainable and also require way less energy to produce and you still get the same result in terms of clarity and sparkle. They use solid 100% conflict-free 14 karat gold. All their designs are interchangeable. They are modular designs so you will have the base piece and then you can add on all these other whimsical attachments that you can mix and match. The reason why I'm so blown away is because I don't know if you're noticing of the gold color that I chose. They do offer it in yellow gold white gold and rose gold and i kind of you know kind of took a chance and uh took the rose gold because i do have a lot of rose gold jewelry that i kind of wanted to match and stack together with my own existing jewelry and i was just hoping that their rose gold is not so coppery and so sort of like orange and it is not. It is the most beautiful beige rose gold ever. It really reminds me of the tone of rose gold or beige gold that Chanel does. It is just, it is just absolutely stunning. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Add serum to water, let soak, brush, rinse, and pat dry. I, I guess these are all for cleaning your jewelry. That is what I'm guessing. So this is so cool. Oh, a mirror, this is so cute. Let me go ahead and show you the chain close up. So it does have three different settings. You have the shortest setting, which is 15 inch, which is more of a choker setting. And then you have the 17 and 18 inch setting. The chain is extremely sparkly and really, really beautiful. It's a really nice dainty chain and so easy to layer with pieces when you get dainty chains especially. And look at this beautiful pendant. This is part of the modular design that is so amazing from this company is that you can buy the chain. So you can have one chain and by several different pendants and designs that you can interchange. For instance, we have here the Coco, which actually you can work it into the chain to become another lariat necklace, or you can even wear it with your earrings. Love the fact that this is more of a beigey gold with a more dainty chain, so it doesn't clash and it doesn't compete too much with my existing Farandal necklace, which has a thicker chain. And in fact, the rose gold of this necklace is way more coppery and way more orangey. So I love the fact that this one is more neutral and it blends so well together and it gives it that sparkle. I picked the add-on, which is called the Jade add-on, which is such a pretty sort of um, another solitaire um, diamond that will just dangle over almost like a ear jacket but just as a solitaire. Here you go guys, these are just the studs. The rose gold really brings out how shiny and white the diamonds are. So I went ahead and added the jade add-on. And it goes so well together with my current stack of jewelry. Oh my gosh, I'm so blown away, guys. You see how easy it was for me to just add all these modular add-ons. They are just incredible. This is so pretty, especially because I tend to have my hair down on this side, so it shows more of the beautiful 
earring okay i've adjusted this earring i wanted to make it a little closer to my ears they are so comfortable i don't even feel them there but as you can see i was able to add two modular add-ons together this is the certificate that came with it it says color grade is d to g d e f is colorless and g is just the one right behind f so it's pretty much colorless and clarity is vs which is very small inclusions so you know that your diamonds are really really good quality and they're lab grown sustainable and you get 14 karat gold these are going to be my everyday jewelry i'm not kidding these are going to be my everyday jewelry i'm going to wear it to shower i'm going to wear it to exercising i might not wear the chain every day but just once in a while i might wear the whole thing like this together and i think it's so stunning and i love the fact that i already have everything else rose gold beige gold just my wedding set is platinum which actually matches my watch aside from that i usually go for rose gold because it really works well with my skin tone and i love that their rose gold is so neutral i am obsessed i am just blown away with the quality and i think you guys will too so i will make sure to link down below all the pieces that i have on which i totally 100% highly recommend. Thank you again to Ideal for collaborating with me on this video. It is amazing. I am I'm speechless. Back to the main event guys. I um, promise I will unbox as quick as possible but there is a complicated story behind this whole journey of mine and I promise I will share everything when it is time to share because it's pointless to share when it's not time anyway so let's go ahead and unbox this bag did you guys guess right i wonder it may not be what you thought uh because even even i didn't i didn't know that i would get this are you guys ready are you ready to see it are you ready Yes, this is my newest Hermes bag and it is my, well, I guess now my second bag that I have in my possession and this one is called the Della Cavalleria. Mine is in Epsom and also in gold color with palladium hardware. I am so happy that I got this bag. There was all this plastic on the hardware which I removed because I could not wait to <laughs> play with the hardware with the closing and opening of the mechanism so I kind of just removed it. Um, but I love that they give these dust bags even for the straps, especially because the inside of the bag is leather lined and it's very soft and if you don't want to scratch it, you can reuse these little dust bags which are perfect for it. I mean, how cute is this? Even a little dust bag for the clasp. This is what we have here. You've got the bag which we'll get into very soon, but also the straps which are adjustable there are three settings and they're pretty far apart from each other actually they're like that so you can go shortest medium or the longest for me i've tried the shortest and i've tried the medium and the medium is for me the best setting for overall like kind of shoulder wear or crossbody wear and the shortest is more for just shoulder wear which is an amazing length if you're just taking this bag to travel and sometimes you're going out for dinner and you just want to look more prim and proper than a shorter setting for your uh, as a shoulder bag going out for dinner is perfect but i will just put it on the second setting because that's the one that i'm probably going to use most of the time especially on the daily and that's the strap for you it's so beautiful i uh, don't own anything gold except for my watch but my watch is in swift leather and as you can see their colors are similar but not quite exactly the same swift is a little bit darker and this is epsom which is a beautiful stamp leather which also keeps its structure very well and it's also very lightweight fall winter of 2020 runway that was the first time that this bag appeared in the Hermes collection and I think they didn't start production until the following year some people in Europe and Asia they have unboxed it in the past year so uh, it was available in certain places just not here in North America I don't think 
or maybe it was just not so readily available there was maybe only a few trickling in but recently I've seen this bag on Oksana's channel since she's based in Canada she's actually in Toronto then I had a feeling that it would start trickling in which is uh, the time that I mentioned to my essay that I was interested and I was actually quite surprised that he's never heard or seen it at all which is really strange if you ask me because you know Toronto, Vancouver, we're all pretty big cities in Canada, so I don't know why it was so slow for us. Uh, I was also under the impression, I can't confirm, but I was also under the impression that I'm one of the first ones to get it in Vancouver, which is nice because I did bring it up quite early <laughs> uh, on, as soon as I knew. And also, um, just glad that I was able to uh, get offered one of these. I do know that a lot of you will have a lot of questions as to where is my quarter bag? Well, it's not here and I'm sorry I cannot show that to you. I do promise that I will share all the details as to what happened and, and what is going on when it's time to do it. So definitely subscribe to my channel and especially if you have enjoyed the content so far, thank you so much. Definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. Quick overview, the front. Look at the beautiful curved shapes. The side. Look at the beautiful contrast stitching. Very, very nice. There is a little bit of a hole here. So um, if you tend to flip your bags, then it's possible that some things will fall. Although that never really happens to me. I, it's never really a concern of mine. And here's the back. And it does have this slip pocket, which is actually uh, quite accessible. I mean, it's still very slim. I wouldn't I wouldn't really put my phone there or anything, but uh, definitely anything slim that you want access to quickly is is a good place to. I mean, it's good. It's, it's good to have any sort of back pocket or outside pocket in any case. The straps they are secured. They are not detachable. They are secured to the bag, and in fact, you cannot even see them from the inside. So, let's open her up. You open it by, uh, so this whole lock mechanism is inspired by the horse bit, which I, I, don't, I don't ride horses. I, I'm not into <laughs> horse riding, so I didn't really know what a horse bit is, but I'll insert a picture of what a horse bit is. And so you just uh, open it by sliding it open forward like this. The inside looks like this, and it's lined in swift leather, which is the same leather as my watch here so you can see the swift leather does look a bit darker or maybe it just has that sheen uh, and it's really soft it feels like lambskin beautifully lined it has one larger back pocket right here i don't know if you can see my hand and then another one right here in between in between the two leathers and it's just um, kind of like a little card pocket and that's about it. It's one large compartment, it's very generous. And here's the Elmez stamp right there. And you can see all the, the craftsmanship is just impeccable. I just, I'm very, very impressed with, um, with Elmez because of that reason. There is kind of that little, um, that little kind of dent like teeth dent that comes down when you turn this and then it locks into uh, this part of the bag it's pretty small but it works really well and it's actually quite easy to um, to close because once you're like once you're aligned like right now once you're in you just push it down and then and then you can close it so the easiest way to open and close this bag is to just um, do this but see it's not coming out yet right because it's uh the teeth is now on that little um ring <laughs> and so all you need to do is just push it down you push it down to unhook it from that teeth part so it's very secure even when you kind of accidentally open it like this it doesn't open on its own until you press it down unless you un un until you release it from the teeth part of the, the lock so it's really ingenious I love the closing mechanism it's very safe uh, and very effective and I am I'm blown away with this bag I I can totally understand the the hype of the ones that do appreciate this bag I totally understand the hype the simplicity 
the um, minimalist design, but it just works. It's one big compartment. The straps are um, reasonably adjustable. It has three very distinct settings. You've got an outside pocket. It's an Epsom leather, which is scratch resistant as well as keeps its shape very, very well. I don't believe that I will need an organizer for this. Not that it's available anyway, I don't think. But I will definitely be using pouches like this for my more sort of scratchy items so that it doesn't scratch the interior. Um, and I'm just going to enjoy it because this is one of those bags that I feel like is another very everyday style that I can take on the daily. This color is super neutral, is amazing for the summer. I, I'm already thinking about all these dresses and red tops, white tops that I will wear with this bag. But even in the winter, it will go with my black large coats. It will go with my beige coats. It, it's just so versatile. I feel like this bag for what it is, crossbody, uh, one large compartment, super easy, uh, a very everyday style and sort of comparable. In my opinion, it's comparable to the Constance, to the Huli because of the just the crossbody style. I feel like this is really good value for what you get. I believe the Huli is around, uh, it starts around 8,000 Canadian. And then I think the Constance starts around 9,000 Canadian. Again, I don't know the exact price because I don't have those bags, but this one was 5,900 Canadian before tax, which is really, really amazing. It's basically around the same price as a mini uh, top handle mini from Chanel. Also, right now in the resale market, especially if you look at Fashion File, they have the best um, inventory of this bag. It's actually reselling quite well and it's going for like 1.5 times the price. That's not really important to me anyway. I knew I liked this bag. I uh, was already attracted to it from the get-go. I was never really thinking about weird shapes, <laughs> what it reminded me of. In fact, I just think that it's very attractive on the body. This is my iPhone, the max size, and it goes in very easily. This is a pretty good size hand sanitizer. Um, so that just goes to show how much room this bag really has my phone and my hand sanitizer and you you've got room for everything else your keys your wallet i feel like the only wear and tear i would probably get is i'm just looking at the stitching and i'm just scared that maybe at the you know at the most vulnerable places that it can get snatched um hopefully not i i'm gonna be you know using my bag but i'm gonna be still sort of careful i think because it's contrast stitching if it's really like um especially like this one, I feel, uh, because it's at this point where it's thicker. So it's totally normal, it's not a defect, but because it's contrast stitching, if anything uh, snags onto this part, then it's gonna be super obvious. Uh, so that might be a wear and tear issue. I don't think there will be any issue with this part flipping out, which some of you brought up. Um, I just don't think it would. I'm not kidding guys, just ask your essay about this bag, at least try it on if you can. Uh, even though for me it was a matter of just like, offer me one, I'm just gonna buy one, I really want one. I want to have bags that I can use, especially given the prices now. So I'm so glad that I got this one. I'm also really, really glad that I work with Ideal, you guys. I'm telling you, if you've skipped the beginning part of this video, which I know some of you do, 
don't forget to check them out. They are just amazing. These are diamond pieces and 14 karat rose gold. You can choose three different kinds of gold, but I went with rose gold. So check it out, guys. You will not be disappointed. I am telling you, you will not be disappointed by either of these items, this bag or the jewelry. Well, unless you don't like the style, then I, I can't really convince you otherwise. But if you are on the fence and you do like the bag and you're just not sure if it's worth it, I think it's totally worth it. That's my opinion. So thank you so much again for watching. If you're new to my channel, especially if you've enjoyed this video, then give me a like, subscribe. There are a couple more ways you can support me as well. You can buy me a coffee if you like. All the links are down below as well as maybe join my membership where you get more exclusive content. Thank you again. Have a great day and week ahead of you and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!